case you're ever wondering, this is what 200 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches looks like on a full-size mattress. All right, so we got everything loaded up. Now it's time to make 200 sandwiches. I think I severely underestimated how much bread you need for uh, 200 sandwiches, but we've got a lot of sandwich making to do, so let's get started. All right, it is 2.40 p.m. right now. Let's see how long it takes you to make 200 sandwiches. All right, 10 down, 190 to go. It's like 349, we're about halfway done. I got 100 sandwiches here, so I got 100 more to go. All right, this is the final sandwich. And in case you were ever wondering, this is what 200 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches looks like on a full-size mattress. So each of these rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, has four stacks of five sandwiches. So now all I gotta do is finish up the lunch packs, put the granola bars in the water in the brown lunch bags, and then we'll be good to go to uh, go get these out. last bag. We've got 200 meals packed up. I'm gonna leave the waters out and just kind of uh, pack those as needed because I'm hoping I'm just gonna be able to park my car, put up a sign, and give all these meals out. But we'll see. And a couple extra bars. Some of them will have two. All right, so now I gotta clean up this whole big mess that I've got all over the van, and then we're hitting the road to give out these meals. All right, so I got this poster board and my thought is I'm just gonna write uh, free meals for those in need on this poster board and then tape it to the outside of my cabinet and just pull up on the street and park the van and just hand these things out. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to walk around and hand these out. So I'm hoping that uh, I can just park up, give some out, move, park up, give some out, and then go like that. So I guess we'll see. All right, so I've got everything ready now. I got all of the meals packed. I've got the sign finished. Now it's time to head into the city and see if we can give all these out. Okay, so parking with the sign didn't pan out, so I'm gonna go off on foot and just hand out as many as I can before it gets dark. All right, so I got a bunch of them packed in this bag. Still a lot of them back here. Got a bunch of them packed in this bag. I'm gonna walk around and hand as many as I can out tonight. So let's go.
is it? Good? Awesome. All right, well, I basically ran around the city and handed out every single one of those meals, except for like five or six of them that I still have in my bag. I didn't really give out a lot of the waters because they were kind of hard to carry around, so I still have like a case and a half of waters. But overall, it was very successful and it was really awesome to be able to give back and uh, I've had kind of a good year for myself, um, so it was nice to do something to give back. But now I gotta find a place to sleep tonight, so I'm gonna head out of the city and uh, find a spot to rest. All right, so I think this is where we're gonna camp for the night. We're in a uh, pilot travel center. And uh, overall, I'd say that was a pretty successful day. Handing out, giving back. But I am absolutely beat. Walked around for walked around for two hours, giving out 200 sandwiches. Uh, I have like 10 left, so I guess I have dinner tonight for myself because I haven't eaten yet. But I appreciate you guys coming with me, um, and I will catch you guys next time.